Road over the top of Evans, finds Glascott on the run. Glascott short of half forward. Hunter, great mark! And Ken Hunter has a chance to bring up Carlton's third goal. Carlton certainly looking a lot better now. Hunter within kicking distance, fine grab, not much Roberts could do about that. And what a great player Hunter is. I'm just wondering whether Black was playing in the set on Williams, or is it Bradley, Bob? No, it's Bradley, Luke. Is it? Hunter from 20 metres out, not a slight angle. No mistake about that. Carlton well and truly back in business in six handballs. Been a great player today. He's been more effective than Williams. The ball back there to Hunter. This fellow's not uh, starting to come to uh, play too badly either. And look at that one. That really knocked his head off. But if he don't, his mouth have gone right to his foot down. He's thrown down to the back of his head. I'll have Roberts uh, away from Hunter personally. On replay now. You can see the kick from Doherty. And Hunter. Well, it's quite interesting. We've got the teams of the year tomorrow night, Lou, and I don't think you line up in the forward pocket. Well, I don't know. This fellow would always get in my side. I'd play him anywhere, Hunter. I think he's one of the great players to come out of uh, West Australia, one of the great players we've seen here in Victoria of all time. There's the get, and that's a goal. Hunter's third. Hunter's third goal, so it's Sydney six. It at half forward, long down to full forward. Hunter, or will he let it go? Hunter marks in front of Roberts. And certainly shift Roberts, so Roberts does a great job against the smaller players, but I don't think he can handle Kenny Hunter. Well, Carlton giving the Swans a bit of a football lesson at the moment. And Hunter for goal number two at the 21-minute mark of the second quarter. We talk about uh, Williams with those slick hand passes. That Reese Jones is not too bad at it either, Bob. No, he doesn't well, doesn't he, Lou? You have to fall over to miss it. It's another one. Hunter second. And Carlton hand neither can take the mark. It's pushed on out towards Melbourne. Melbourne goes for a long hand pass to Hunter. Back it goes now to Black with another goal coming up for the Blues. That was easy work and great play on the part of the Blues forwards. Five goals. Brilliant in the first term. Short pass. Let's see how, he good, how good he is now. Hunter's got the last say. Let's see what he does now. That's goal number four. He'll turn around the counter and have a few words. And that's what he's got to say. Yeah, that's how I play it. So I this opinion of Bradley as a player, so it'll be interesting to see how he goes today. As the ball's brought out towards Hunter. Oh, I'm sure he's a good overhead mark as he... Judge that beautifully over the top of Peter Russo. He plays on and he brings it towards centre wing. Mark McClure. Way of Richard Lovridge. Goes from the edge of the square. Tuck oh. right underneath the football. And they're just too good at the moment in defence. Oh, they're being led by this man. For Hawthorne, Robertson and Handley. As the Hawks go down towards the half forward line. Hunter. There was a cloud over Ken Hunter. But he is on the ground. And will give his all. To half forward. Looking for his cap. This is a good one towards McClure and Hunter. We haven't seen too much of that for many a long day. And to see those sticky fingers of Hunter starting to wrap around the football might warm some Carlton hearts. His third mark of the match, but that's the first one taken decisively overhead. I wonder if he can do it from about 40 metres. He can. He's drilled it. Great tackle by Walsh. He just got his kick. Now McClure and folds. Hunter on his natural kicking boot. It's a goal. Second to Hunter. Now out comes Hunter. Donnell in pursuit. Ashman out in front now of Thompson. Sells him the dummy, can line them up, and goal! Now it's not Dersma, it's Hawk. Back towards centre field. Got a long kick by Hawk, well over the centre line. Now it's Hunter's chance. Hunter goes for the long hand ball. Ball picked up now by Ian Roberts. His kick is a hurried one, but it covers a bit of distance. Hunter, what a beautiful mark in front of Danaher. Great player, this fellow. And what an asset he's been since he crossed over from West Australia for the Blues. Both sides have had good players today. It's been an excellent game, incidentally, too. Dill going for the long kick out to Hunter. He's marked about six of these since he's kicked up. He gets away by the meter. Robertson over to Blackwell. Ball shot short. Hunter picks it up on the half volley at centre field. Looking for a lead out one square area. Chance for the Blues and Robertson. Up towards half forward. Oh, great mark to Hunter. He can play on. He, he does so. Here's a goal coming up. They'll get this one through Alvin if he can get clear. Forward again, a high kick by Craig Bradley up towards uh, the centre wing area. 
Meldrum has it fisted away, but straight down to Hunter. Danger again, up towards Kernahan. Ralph is waiting at the back. Kernahan. Four goals, the margin between the sides as Bruce Dool goes straight up to centre. Hunter takes a lovely mark. I think Conley would have realised the, the way they were doing it. That's exactly the same. They've been doing it all year, Sandy. But I think still 4.58. Once again, the same thing that's been happening. Hunter couldn't get it clear. Tackle. It's the hey, Bob. He's playing well, Sandy, but uh, at least Phillips is trying to apply pressure with Kernahan. But Tommy Alvin is the stumbling block once again. Out in front of Hunter. He can keep running, Kenny Hunter. His handball's a little loose, but it bounces favourably for Peter Rowe. Back to Hunter again. They've drifted it almost down to the wing. Still with Peter Rowe. This is good football. Chipping it into half forward, and McClure takes them up. There again. He's gone the wrong side, Ablett. Now they kicked it there. Oh, that is shocking forward play. Well, they're trying to let one Ablett led to the wrong side of the ground. Then they kicked it to the pocket. There was no play of his ability. Here we see a short pass. Oh, Hunter. What a mark that was. That was Tim Darcy. Or was a boss kicked it across? Confidence. Now it's about to say Mossett may come in toward the centre. He does a little bit. Up they fly, nearly a mark to Brownus, but the man in front, will he be paid? Yes, the man in front will be paid, and that's Kenny Hunter. Someone told me he was out of form. He's had three kicks already. No, I don't think he's out of form on what I... Safe mark. Cool in a crisis, Rick Kennedy, and kicks it long towards centre-half forward. And who is it? None other but Ken Hunter, number nine. He's only now 35 metres from goal. Kicks for goal and puts it through. Silvani, Silvani at half forward, runs through towards goal, chips across to Hunter, Hunter can run through, he fumbles, he loses it, he's still got time, gets a hand pass out, and it's kicked by Glasgow. Kicked by Glasgow. hand pass came from Hunter. Up towards Silvani again, but coming from behind was Carroll, now Silvani with the ball, Silvani, players falling down around him, Silvani looking across, looking towards Hunter, Hunter takes a mark, what a grab! What a grab, Kim Hunter. Ninth mark, bag of bones, and what a player. Hunter the heart, all heart and courage is number nine. And really, with that bulky opponent, Mark Roberts, giving him everything, that was a wonderful, competitive mark by Ken Hunter, who's really been a magnificent player. He's given away one or two. He's kicked three himself. Points. 16 minutes into the third quarter, the Blues have increased the lead to 12 points. Acrobatics by Kenny Hunter. And that's his eighth mark of the afternoon and what an afternoon it's been. Back from injury, sees Johnson and finds him. Really played well. Sixth mark coming in for his 14th kick. Kick is a long one. Hunter in front. Takes the mark. Gernahan was a player from behind and just sort of kept it nicely in place there for Kenny Hunter. He's almost held it on his hands. <laughs> placed it there for him and said it's all yours number nine 14th kick coming up for hunter that's been his 11th mark what a player and he's kicked his fifth goal to ken hunter ever so long just a bit too long and the free kick goes to wayne johnston johnston's kick is a jib that was the pass of the match it went like a bullet to ken hunter and they know each other these two they were captain and vice captain last year Ken Hunter still vice captain, his 15th possession, his 10th mark, and number nine, Ken Hunter shoots for goal from about 45 metres out, and he hasn't made a mistake. He has not made one mistake, that's his fourth. And there are those Carlton fans coming to life because it's a free kick to the Blues. Ken Hunter down there, Roberts from behind, but Hunter 